We're at Sears and we're taking a family portrait. This is mom and dad. <laughs> Hello, son. How are you? <laughs> okay. All right, good evening. It is uh, August 27th, uh, 2012, and this is your pod update. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the television production, Search for Truth, which is still in development, a bit about the craft, a bit about the free energy pod, and a bit about the Break. Breakthrough Energy Movement Conference that's going to be taking place in Holland. First up, the television show, show Search for Truth. We were very close to pitching this thing, so we're looking at next month. A lot of very exciting episodes are lined up for an entire season of shows, and Ralph will be featured in one of those episodes called Modern Day UFO Architects. There are several other people that you've likely seen uh, on the Internet because these stories that we're covering um, are sourced from the Internet, so you'll, you'll probably be very familiar with who those people are. I'm not going to tell you who they are yet, so you'll just have to wait until it comes out on TV. We are pitching to both domestic and international markets, so you know, we're very confident the show is going to be picked up. It's just a matter of time, and we anticipate being in, in production here in, in a very short few months. Moving on to the craft, I have some pictures to share with you that were provided to me by the designer down in Australia just a few days ago. Here they are. What you're going to see here is a picture of the craft, and that's the designer's hand holding the craft outright. And uh, you can see, if you look closely, the coils are in there, and so are the C-shaped magnets. Those are a little bit more difficult to, to see from this image. Here's another one. This is the C-shaped magnet up close. And this next picture here shows the C-shaped magnet with the coils uh, mounted into the craft. That thing going around the outside edge of the craft is called an equatorial field correlator, and that's not my phrase for it, that's Otis Carr, and there will be a quiz at the end of this pod <laughs> update, so stay tuned. Next up we have the free energy pod. I will be heading to some place in some place in California, Sacramento, <laughs> Sacramento California, I know, uh, to interview the uh, one of the leaders of one of the free energy pods, and he's going to be providing an extensive update on what's been going on with that, because they just haven't provided me any information about it, and I know a lot of you people have been asking about it, so now you're going to get it. So, um, by the time you're looking at this, it should be uploaded about the same time, or is in the process of being uploaded. So there you go. Uh, next up, we have we've covered the craft, we've covered the free energy pod. Now we need to move on to the Breakthrough Energy Conference. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over to Ralph Martian and let them tell you about it. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Walter. Well, the uh, Breakthrough Energy Conference, a Breakthrough uh, Energy Technology Conference, is being held in Amsterdam, Holland uh, in uh, November 9th, 9th through the 11th. Mm -hmm. in, in Amst near Amsterdam. I'm not sure that I can pronounce the name of the town, but that's where it's going to be held. We're going to be speaking there about alternatives, about pulling ourselves out of the old ways of doing things, the old paradigm, if you will, and into the new, which means using uh, natural energy, which we haven't used in quite some time, to, uh, to solve our existing uh, energy crisis, to solve our, our medical uh, questions that haven't been able to to solve themselves in the way of the, the cancer research, et cetera, et cetera. All these things can be looked at from a different perspective using the natural uh, consciousness, the consciousness of natural energy and how, how it works in, in the field of healing and the heal field of being and doing things differently. All in frames of reference, we have many, many things to tell you about consciousness and about spaceships. We, uh, in the early... Uh, early 60s, late late 50s, actually had an operational spaceship that teleported through time and space, levitated, et cetera, et cetera, and uh, that's going to be one of the items we'll be talking about. Marcia? Uh, about the spaceship, that is what you're seeing is a prototype that, that uh, Walter was just showing you that is being created in Australia. It's an, a very exciting time right now, and the breakthrough 
uh, energy technology movement is right on time. We are so excited to be part of that and to be part of the pods and to be part of the update with Walter. Walter has done so much for us and keeps all of you informed on what is happening in our in our little group of pods, group of people around the world. And so we're very, um, very thankful that, that Walter keeps everybody informed. And we are learning and hearing more and more about the inventors in their garages and so forth. So we know many people are in this movement of breakthrough energy. We have many, many things waiting in the wings to share with people. The uh, consciousness that that is, that is necessary to to appreciate what we have is is going to be examined and explored at the conference. Um, I think I'll turn this back over to Walter. I think Ralph's done talking. <laughs> My turn to jump back in here. Um, so there you have it. Um, I just wanted to add here once again. I, I think I say this on just about every update. Uh, <clears throat> the people that are in the pods are working from the heart, not from a corporation, mm -hmm. not from a schedule, not from any kind of money, you know, profiteering standpoint whatsoever. The monies come in as they're needing. There, there have been a lot of miracles that have occurred during the course yeah. of the construction of this particular prototype down in Australia. So, so if you're out there looking, hey, when's the next update? You got to know, you know, in, in the right time, you know, when there's information to be provided. I will shoot an update and provide that information to you. But also please understand that we're not any kind of, on any kind of schedule. We are all working from the heart and in a lot of cases right out of our own pocketbooks. So um, once again, this has been the Ralph Ring Pod update for August 27, uh, 2012. Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you next time. Adonai.